Hey, everybody, and welcome. This is West Indies cricket legend, the one and only Darren Sammy. I am Chris Rose, Paxton Elrod, Kelsey Wingard along for the ride as well as we continue or at least start our true March Florida championship. It is time for single elimination today between Team Baggage and love is. Now, Team Baggage, they barely lost to Pinstripe Strong in their last outing. In fact, they scored 94 runs that game. Love you's, they've not won a game. This is a knockout stage. So everything on the line to play for. Uh, battle of the big egos in this one. Nikki Cass, Jake Storiali. The winning team is moving on to face hook line sinkers. Let's take you down to the field. All right, to get things going, let's send it down to Kelsey Wingert. I want to show you guys our new playoff coin. This is a Euro straight out of Justin Dill's wallet. Oh. This is tails. Okay. This is heads. Okay. Toss. Which one's tossing? You're tossing, and you will call it in the air. Heads. Heads. Heads was called. It's heads. And it's... This is tails. <laughs> tails. We really had to think about it. What would you like your team to do first? We're gonna have a ball first. They're gonna bowl first. All team right. baggage will bowl first. Chris Rose took a little bit to figure out the euro, but we got there. That's all right. That's all right. I don't know what the euro. We'll put that on our coin Hall of Fame display here at the warehouse. It's quite an extensive collection. I recommend that you come on over and see it anytime you can. Actually, don't don't bother us. So here we go. In this do or die situation, Team Baggage playing without Jimmy O'Brien. They will be bowling first. It looks like Luke O'Brien is going to be the first one on the stripe. Rob Scirocco will be the batting partner. He'll be running. Let's see what Nikki Cass has got. It's been a struggle for him. And there's a ball into the ceiling, and it falls. Just one run. That'll get Rob Scirocco, who's been one of their better strikers, up to the plate. Scirocco has actually faced the fewest good pitches on this team. There's a ball popped in the air, yeah. and an easy wicket. Oh, oh, oh. An early wicket made by Aaron Jones. And it's not started well for Lovias. Oh, devastating. So now it brings up their professional cricket player, Rusty Theron. 37-year-old out of South Africa, a first-round pick of the Texas Super Kings in the upcoming Major League Cricket. And he's, he's got to deliver this time around. He's so far got 54 runs. There's a ball hit well off the ceiling and just a run. He did strike it well, but boy, the warehouse configuration can yes. sometimes get you. Yes. The, the, the key is getting it straight back past the bowler. That's where you score the easy runs. More of a line drive. Yeah. There's a ball that is in play. And they're only going to stay for no. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Very interesting. Nicky wanted to press it on the run. Rusty was like, no, I'm staying here, bro. So four balls gone. Only three runs. Only three runs on the board. And already one wicket as well against Lovias. That ball is hammered, and that is a six run. Finally, Rusty gets back to ball. Moves the score on to nine. He needs another big maximum to finish the over. Can he get it? That ball is in play, but just one run. So they got to double digits on the first over. So the DraftKings power play is finished. The question is, will Team Baggage put in a wicket keeper? Well, Aaron Jones is the wicket keeper. Rusty Theron continuing to be the striker. That ball hammered right up the middle. That's a four. Another hammer shot and another four as it works its way through Story Ali with a nice diving attempt. Well, it actually ricocheted off Jake. That ball's hit right up the middle. <laughs> And another four. So far, some momentum from Rusty. 
So Lovey is with 22 runs on the board. They put together 25 total first inning runs during the regular season in their two games. That ball hammered again, another four. Okay. I'm loving what I'm seeing from Rusty. He's saving his performance for the big knockout games. So far, so good. Luke has yet to deliver a bad ball. That's why he became the golden bowler. Had a second shot at it, and that's just a single run. So nice momentum defense by Team Baggage. One more good pitch left in this over. So far, 17 runs from the over. One good pitch, a six would be very welcomed. Oh, wow. That's a, and no, Why did they run? No. Aaron Jones, another wicket. Why do Lovius always get themselves in a good position only to just mess it up with the running between the wickets? Lovius did get a run because of the bad ball. Even though there was a swing and a miss, it did not hit the strike zone. So that's one run automatically. And Dalton Feely, we're going to get our first look at him as the striker. That ball popped up, and everybody's safe, so an extra run. And that gets us to the third and final over of this inning, and it looks like Aaron Jones and Luke O'Brien are going to switch spots, so here comes Jones as the bowler. Nikki Cass back up. They need to get at least, what, 40 or 45? 40, 45, yep. thereabouts. That ball got me up. Yep, that's a four run. Another four for this team. Gets him into the 30s. Takes yeah. at least a little pressure off of them when they're playing defense. Oh, oh there's a dot ball. The dreaded dot ball. Just got a swing on it. How many times we've said this up on air? Just swing at the ball. You've Come said on, it a Nick. Lot. That ball's hammered, and that's a six run. Our first six of the day, or second, or whatever it is. Oh, yes. What was it, our second? John or our first? Yeah, that was our second. Rusty had one. That ball's another one, another six, as Nikki Cass is starting to feel it. You see what happens when you swing at the ball? Good things, my oh, friend, good things. Oh, man. 45 on the board for the first time in the first innings for them. Two good pitches left. There's oh! another one. Somebody's got their striker stroke down. 51 on the board. All right, here we go. Love you, saving the big performance for the knockout game. That Whoa. ball's hit in the air. They're going to run. Keep running, two. keep running, keep running. There's two. Keep running. Oh, <laughs> why? why? How did they get three runs from there? <laughs> why didn't Luke just throw it? 54 runs on the board. Now wow. that's a hell of a performance. Unreal. A fantastic performance, energized performance from Team Lovius, especially when you consider they got a wicket on the second good pitch of that inning. Yes. And still put it all up. In it's fact, incredible. The star of Team Lovius is hanging out with Paxton. Nikki, yeah. absolutely incredible innings. You guys actually only put up 25 in your other two first innings, and now you're at 54. You had three sixes back to back to back. How are you feeling? Feel great. Uh, I made a mental error by letting uh, Rusty get out, so I figured I had to be show up for my team, and we were able to do that. How are you guys going to hold them? Uh, we're just going to play our game. Okay, play your game. I like the vagueness of these interviews. They really are spot on. What a match. What a match. Thanks for tuning in. We got more of this very match coming up, so don't go anywhere. I just need to let you know that this game has been presented to you by DraftKings, and you can download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WAREHOUSE, bet $5 on any wager, and get 150 in bonus bets. That's promo code WAREHOUSE only at DraftKings Sportsbook. And in the comments, let us know who you'd bet on to hit the next six in this match. All right, we head to the bottom of the first inning. Love yous. Putting up 54 in that opening frame. But Team Baggage, a team that could definitely score. Aaron Jones, you'll see him professionally for the Seattle Orcas 
in Major League Cricket. Going against Rob Scirocco as the bowler to begin. That ball hit, put in play. Just one run. But it does get the dangerous Luke O'Brien, who I believe put up 61 runs in his last game. That was the most by anybody in a single game during the regular season. <laughs> you can see why. Uh, he continues where he left off. A four run boundary ball. And they will need all of his expertise in order to chase down that 54 first innings total. That ball is a six run boundary. Let's have a little fun here, you and I. Talk to me. Who's going to be leading after the first inning? Ooh, I'm going with the underdog. Love yous? Love yous. You think that 54 yes. will stand, huh? That that 54 will stand. Scoreboard pressure is a hell of a thing. Ah, uh, that's a bad ball. And because they're on the DraftKings power play, no wicket keeper there to, sco to scoop it up. Three deliveries bold. 13 runs on the board for team baggage. That ball hit behind him, but that is in play. Oh, look, look at the team baggage guys. They're not exactly making a great effort to get out of the way. Feel free to lift up your feet. And that's the beauty about knockouts. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. Yeah. It's what you do in present. Now, love you's I'm oh, Another bad ball. Ooh, Scirocco continuing Scirocco. to miss the zone. The pressure seems to be getting to him. And every time so far, that's been two runs because of no wicket keeper being on the DraftKings power play. Can he close out the over? That ball's hammered. That's a four run boundary. Mm. One more left in the first over. Scirocco will not get the golden bowl. So he will have to vacate as the bowler. That ball's hammered and hit out! Oh. All the way into our broadcast booth. That's not a good over. Would you like to kiss the ball? Uh, I, Rusty, I, I'm gonna put some good luck charm in there for you. Ah, oh, that's kind. Well, let's remember what happened to him during the regular season. Oh, there yes. are no curve balls, we don't break. He had a time against hook line sinkers where he threw a ball, kind of broke his wrist a little bit. Yes. They made an appeal. They said, you, you can't do that. So it's a redo, and, it, and the it inning went, unraveled it after went that. To so let's, let's see if he could stay focused Come on. this time around. Come on. He's the pro. Look at that. It. It's like he's checking runners. Oh, this is interesting. That ball's hammered in. He's four runs. That is a four. Oh, man. It's not looking good for Rusty. Oh, the old trick. That's a wide. That is a wide, that's a run. What'd you think of that? Oh, Hold on man. one second, we gotta check out that delivery what, again. What is he doing? There's no time for experimenting now. He was practicing that during warmups to Dalton in the corner. He was practicing that throw. That, okay, well, maybe he needs more practice or don't ever do it again. Those are my two suggestions. That ball's Stop hammered. Oh, what a oh, whoa, what happened here? That was unbelievable. Great piece of fielding. Wait, we, we gotta see what happened here again. So Dalton did an amazing job preventing a four run boundary. Did any runs score on that play? No runs. No runs, wow, that was fantastic. Great defense. There's a smash, a oh. dive, another attempt, but that's a four-run boundary. Could not stop it this time around. Score moves on to 35. With three deliveries left, three balls, good pitches. They need a wicket. Oh, oh no! We saw this from Luke O'Brien in a previous game where he saw three balls hit the strike zone. People are saying that that was a little breaking ball, a curveball by Rusty, but no, no, no. That ball Ooh. is 
hammered for a six run. Wow. So now the gap has been closed to 13. Oh, man. I think I called it wrong here, Rose. Oh, you don't know. Team baggage. We'll see. Maybe they'll get a wicket here. You never know. That ball's hammered. It's a six <laughs> to end the over. Nice run by Luke O'Brien. And Lovia's lead has diminished to seven runs. 21 run over from Rusty. He keeps getting blows every time he holds the ball. So now it looks like Nikki Cass is going to become the bowler in this situation. Aaron Jones, Luke O'Brien, they continue to do their thing as the strikers. Baggage has put up 47 in response to Lovia's 54 this is a to start close this game. game. It's definitely going to be a close game. Aaron Jones. Ooh. Oh, that ball tipped. It did hit the strike zone afterward. Oh, whoa! It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. All right, well, hold on here. They're saying it hit the leg and not the blue part of the strike zone. We're going to have to give a look here. All right, so we uh, confirm a dot ball. It was a dead ball after Aaron Jones tipped it. That's big for Lovias. That ball hit up the middle, tipped by Nikki, and great, great teamwork great from the teamwork. former high school teammates. Good hands slowing it down. That's back-to-back -back dot balls. That ball's hammered, and oh, it just trickles through. No exit velo, but it found the back wall for another four runs. Hey, let's listen in on Jake. You guys gets out in the final couple pitches. I come in, but then I could start on the bench for the next inning. Be aggressive, is what you're saying. One of you gets out. That's okay. If it's not a boundary, let's just run. I don't know what the fuck they just said, but here we go. Actually, Jake wants one of them out for the next inning so they could start. That ball is hit. It's put in play. Let's see how fast they run. There's one. There's. Oh, the ball gets thrown wildly. And, oh gosh, three runs on that play to tie the score. <laughs> That's great strategy from Great Jake. strategy. Big e either way, they're winning because yeah. it means one of the two best batters could start. Next inning. Next inning. Right. If they don't, if they get out, they're just going to keep running. I love that. So we're tied at 54. Uh, not anymore. That's a six-run boundary. Hey, remember when you predicted that Lovies would be leading after this inning? Oh, man, I was so wrong. It's I was okay. just trying to give them confidence. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that was sweet of you. Yeah, but they've not won again. I should have known better. Ball God. popped up in the air. Oh, smart. What? Why? Wow. He ran him out. The plan was to not get him out so Jake could start. The next inning. That so wait means a second. Did he get run out or he not? He got run out. Was he run out? Yes, he was. So that means so he could start. That, that means Luke has to start on the bench next time? Yes. Wow. And Jake will be one of the strikers. <laughs> that is some interesting stuff. All right. Let's head down to the field with Kelsey. Yep. Down here with Jake. You guys were just talking strategy. But for Luke to get run out there, that means that he's going to start the next time you guys bat on the bench. Does that play into the strategy you guys were going for? Yeah, I, it worked out either way. Um, you know, the boys were doing their thing. The boys were bopping, arguably the biggest inning in ball and play history. Um, and I take credit for that. That was their game planning. But yeah, I'll be out there, and I uh, I plan on I plan on getting this win. Chris Rose kind of called me out. Called him out about what? What What did I call him what out about? Call, what did you call him out about? Rosie called me out. He said my performance in the last game wasn't good enough. So. And then I responded with the biggest inning in ball and play history, so. By what, sitting his ass on the bench? Uh, it's called leadership. hey -oh, here to talk to you about bird dogs. You might know their stretch khaki shorts are some of the best in the game. Their shorts have become my travel shorts, which is like a big thing for me. I've been telling way too many people about them. Guess what, bird dogs got pants too. You know how I know that? I'm wearing them right now. These are them. Right here, full length, this body. And they feel good because they are comfortable. They look good. Wear them anywhere. Work, play, those are two of my favorite things. And right now, if you go to birddogs.com slash warehouse, 
Enter promo code warehouse. You're going to get a free Yeti-style tumbler with your order. That's birddogs.com slash warehouse. Free Yeti tumbler with your bird dogs order. Be comfy. Look good. Bird dogs. Top of the second here. The warehouse games. Do or die for both Team Baggage and Love You's winner. Moves on to face hook line in the semifinals. Team Baggage just tied a single inning record, at least for this season, with 61 runs. Pinstripe Strong also did it. So now just a seven-run differential between these squads. And Jake Storiali apparently having a problem with somebody in the broadcast booth because he said they called him out. Listen, all I'm saying is Jake's a former league MVP in Blitzball. I expected a little bit more out of him. You know, sometimes his social circle gets in the way of what yeah. he's trying to do out here on the field. Yeah, you could excuse him. I think he was a bit intoxicated. Yeah, that. well, who did yeah. that? Who did that to himself? Rusty with a big swing. There's one. And there's two. Nice start for Lovias, which, by the way, begins this over on the DraftKings power play. So there is no wicket keeper behind the strike zone. Also, whoever wins this game moves on yep. to the playoffs. Rusty with a big shot and a six-run boundary. And they're back in the lead. Only by one. What sort of number are they thinking? 110 total? Uh, 110 would be awesome. They need a few sixes. And there's a play not well done by Luke. Oh, almost oh. got him on the bail. Whoa! Now, wait a second. The ball's not dead the minute it knocks the bails off? Yeah, ball's dead at, at that point. But okay. in, this, in this scenario, it, the it ball is, is dead. dead. Okay, good. There are some differences between cricket and ball and play league. Three. Good balls left in this over. Jake Storiali doing a phenomenal job. <laughs> <laughs> you spoke too early. <laughs> he disappears for six. <laughs> let's, let's see what sort of power we have as Rob Scirocco did a nice job there. The outstanding producer of the Rose Rotation in baseball today. That ball's hammered and another four, four. Just below the home run line. So Scirocco starting to light it up. Last pitch of the over. Let's see if I can jinx him. You think I can jinx him again? Jinx him again. Okay. Jake has been so masterful. Really dialed in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you. He's going a bit this time around. Yep. Well, it looks like Luke O'Brien's going to be the bowler. Will there be a wicket keeper? There will. Aaron Jones is trotting to the circle as the DraftKings power play is over. So Rusty back up as the striker with a 16-run lead. And that was a 23-run over. Good, solid start for them. Whoa, oh, Rusty! Rusty! Rusty serving his best performance in the playoffs. Rather in the knockout game so far. Starting for six. That ball smashed. And another four, I believe. Four right through yep. the hands of Jake. He's still hurting from that bad over he bowled. Well, let's not say anything bad about Jake. He might put, get his panties in a bunch. <laughs> Swing and a miss. But they stay put, but that is a bad ball. So they get a run, does love you, but it doesn't count as a pitch. That ball hammered and Rusty goes over the 100 run Rusty, mark. Rusty! Takes his tally to 104. Rusty really locked in today. Nice Jeez. bounce back for him. Yeah, yeah, I love it for him. I'm happy for him. That ball follow. Oh, Eric Jones. Rusty! He ended up getting a wicket anyway. So there's the wicket dance. The wicket dance. Again. It's sweeping the nation. Love yous. Every time they get some momentum in their favor, they give it right back to the opposition. Wow. So Rusty's going to have a seat. Nikki Cass is in now. 
Well, let's see what Nikki's got with two more good balls left in this over. That ball, oh, they're gonna go, they're gonna go! Oh! Aaron Jones with back-to-back -back wickets, I believe. We're gonna have to replay it, but I'm gonna get my cardio in anyway. What are they and doing? And two, and three, and four. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is he doing? Backflip, and he's oh, gone! Got what a brilliant piece of work. Aaron Jones, fantastic play as he knocks out Rob Scirocco. And Jake is doing our celebration. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are not allowed to. You're not allowed to do it. You're not allowed. Oh Luke, you may do it. Jake, out. All right, so Dalton Feely now. Yeah, yeah, Aaron Jones is doing Yeah. We can dance. Wanted to ask him about those two phenomenal defensive plays that he's made back here. Does your cricket experience give you the advantage in plays specifically like that one? Um, I guess so. Um, we do a lot of lateral movement in cricket, so I guess that's, you can say that. We can dance. Yeah. <laughs> we can dance. See, oh. but you got to put your fingers like this, like a W. Oh. Okay. That's the wicked part of it. Wicked that. Nobody oh. cares. Okay. Here we go. One more good pitch left in this over. Oh. The old pickoff attempt. Nikki's like, nah. Oh. Smashed another four. Nice. So now we move on to the final over. 21 runs from this over as well. They need another 20 run over. I, I would agree with you. And even that might not be safe, but... That would make for drama. Yes, it would. We're all about drama oh, man. here in the warehouse. Yeah. No problem. Thank you so much, Nikki. I love you. Oh, my God. We just had some autograph sessions down here. We have some fans of Nikki Cass in the audience. Um, it was a little awkward. I'm not going to lie. Hey, 1.2 strong on uh, million strong on TikTok. We'll do that for you. All right. Here we go. Third and final over. Aaron Jones is the bowler. Nikki Cass. A look at Dalton trying to get in Aaron Jones's head by being friendly. That's smashed. And oh! Zoe made an amazing play, but couldn't dig it out in time to get the third and final wicket. So just one run on the board. One wicket left for Love Years. That ball hammered and a four spot as Story Alley couldn't get his body in front of it. And it brings up the hundred for Love Yous. That ball oh. hammered and Dalton doing his thing for another six. And that's his first six. What a good time to bring it up. Another three good balls left. And your target is almost achieved. 110. Yeah, I told you, I, that's a target. It's not perfect, it's not steadfast. I'm just saying that that's the one I would try to get to. Another smash up the middle, that one's in play. Good job, good job, just one run allowed. And there's the 110 mark, two good pitches left. Most runs in the game so far, what a time to bring it up. That ball hammered up the middle, another four. Oh. Tim Baggage got some serious work to do. I knew the chase down 51 to win the very first game. Last ball, can he finish with a six? Oh, oh that ball hits the strike zone. That is a dot ball and that will finish the inning for Lovias but not before they get to 114 runs. But could that ball he didn't swing out be the difference Ooh. in that match? Oh, God, <laughs> don't let Nikki Katz think of it. Kelsey, what's going on down here? I just feel like we need to do an overall sanity and wellness check with Zoe, who is now playing in his fifth game with another one. Tomorrow you had some big defensive plays there to save some four-pointers. Just how are you feeling physically right now? Where are we at? Physically fine. Mentally, I'm in a bit of a pretzel. It's like, I don't know if I'm rooting for like my team or what team to root for anymore. How are ranked the teams you've played for based off your favorites? Uh, we got ice, baggage rotten. Ooh. Okay. Hey, good job out there. Good job out there. It's a good question, Kelsey, but please don't let Trevor Plouffe hear that anytime in the near future. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go tell him right now. 
Hey there! As these guys warm up, allow us to tell you about being short. Jake's short, I'm short. We're under 5'10", Jake. We're under 5'10", height-wise, and that's what we're wearing, and that's why we look so good and we're comfortable. Whether it's a dress shirt, a t-shirt, the pants, even the pants we wore in Blitzball, under 5'10". Jim, tell them the... Di oh my god. Use coupon code JOHNBOY to save $10 off your order at under510.com slash JOHNBOY. That's code JOHNBOY at under510.com slash John Boy. All right, back to the action. Go team. So we head to the bottom of the second, and Team Baggage is chasing 54 runs. You're thinking, 50, how the heck are they going to do that? Well, they scored 61 in the first inning, Darren. Yeah, they did, but ooh, 50, I know the first game they chased down 51 against We Got Ice, but now it's a playoff game. It's yeah. a knockout game. Yeah, pressure. Pressure. Oh. Oh. Rob Scirocco will be the bowler. It's the DraftKings power play benefiting Team Baggage. No wicket keeper behind the strike zone. Here we go. Aaron Jones hits one behind. Only one run. That's a tough start for Baggage emotionally, right? Yes, yes it is. Uh, so now that brings up Jake Storiali, a man who has called me out because I said he didn't perform well in the regular season. Yeah, what does he have in store? And it's a four. Okay, good job by Storiali. Good job by Storiali. Oh, man. Okay. This is a former league MVP of the first blitz ball battle. That ball's hammered, and it's a six. It's a six. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he took you calling him out personally. Hey, that's fine. He that's can, fine. Whatever gets him to perform, right? They need a wicket right now. Oh, bad ball and two runs score. One on the bad ball and one on the run. That gets a locked in story alley, though, out of the striker role. But brings in the dangerous Aaron Jones. Still three good pitches left in this first over. That ball's hammered in another six. Good job by Jones. My goodness, the game is slowly slipping away from Lavia's. Baggage chasing 35 now. That ball's hammered. Nice job by Nikki Cass, but he throws it away. Are they going to keep running? The answer is no. So just one run. That worked out pretty well for Lovias. Could have been disastrous. Well. Could have been this. You know they have not won a single game so far. Oh, yeah, I know. You keep saying that. It's but like you're I trying to make them, them feel bad. No, that's not, I want them to win. Three good pitches All right. that produce wickets. Last good one of this over. Storiali's back up. He delivers another six. And somehow, the magic has returned to the little man. 26 runs from this over, Rose. The perfect start for Team Baggage. This is Dalton Feely's first time as a bowler in the entire tournament, and it's with his team's tournament hopes on the line. Oh, man. Just what 20 do you think of that? Needed. Just, it's the best time to be a hero. Yeah, but Can what number 14 on his back be a hero? Wow, that is interesting. So in steps Aaron Jones, his team chasing 28. That ball hammered, and that's another four. That ball's hammered, and it's a six spot for Aaron Jones. Dalton Feely, he comes at you with kind of a strange, different angle, but Aaron Jones has had no problem picking the ball up. Rose, can I change my team? No. <laughs> oh, there's a ball. Uh, nice play by Dalton Feely, the one hopper. It's a dot ball. That was huge for Lovius. Three big hits needed for victory for Team Baggage. That ball's hammered up the middle and another four. <laughs> and Dalton is feeling it because he felt like he should have gotten a finger on it. And Nikki Cass bringing the teams together. He's taking the timeout. And here comes Paxton. Let's listen in. 
not want to go for outs because then Luke comes up. Luke is first off the bench. So we may want to like keep it low and get ground balls and just try and get ones and just survive. They're just hitting the fuck out of all four of us. <laughs> like what? what? I don't know what else we can uh, change. Let's just try and put a number on the board to defend last over. As the, ball, as the balls go down, a little bit of pressure builds. You never know what happens. Yeah, That's the cricketer speaking right that there. That was awesome. Okay, what do you think of all that, Darren? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the last thing you heard Rusty said, just try to take it to the last over. Even if they need 12 of the last over 10 is pressure, you never know what could happen. Okay, well, let's see. Aaron Jones, he's been masterful so far in this inning. Just two good pitches left in this over. That ball's hammered, there's a six spot. And now the chase is under 10. <laughs> I tried to give them confidence. They're just not good enough. That ball tapped, Air Jones ran. Oh, he didn't get him. But wow, that was interesting. And now Nikki, I think, is going in to tell Dalton, just hang on to that. Don't throw it away. Yes. Because we want to keep these two as hitters instead of bringing in Luke O'Brien. Okay, so six deliveries left. Eight balls needed. Eight runs needed, sorry. Rusty Turan, who's known to be a depth over specialist. What does that mean? It means when, when the game is going to crunch time, as a bowling team, this is your specialist oh, to so bowl. That's the equivalent of what we call a closer in yes, baseball. Yes, a like closer. Mar you He's know who Mariano closer. Rivera is? Yes, I've Okay, been. for the Yankees, he was the greatest closer, closer. ever. That's that, his Rusty in the game. This is Rusty's job? This is Rusty's job in the game. That's what, he's, that's what when he oh, gets picked wow. for, when he will be playing for the Texas Super Kings, that's his role. Wow, okay. To close out the game. Oh, so he loves the pressure. Oh, that's excellent. Let's do this. Come on, Rusty. Oh, and look who's up. Jake Storiali. That ball's hammered <laughs> and it is a four. Okay, so one more of those and Team Baggage advances to the semifinals. And Loveyas will go out of this tournament without a win to their name. Here we go. It could Rusty. be over right now. Rusty delivers. There's a ball. And it's, oh, that's the four. And that is it. That is it. Jake Storiali with a walk-off. The man who challenged the broadcast booth that said, damn it, I am king of this warehouse, helps lead a triumphant comeback. What a performance by Jake. 115 for Team Baggage, 114 for Loveyas. Baggage, we will see you in the next round against Hookline. Loveyas, we will see you next season.